Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please. Hades, I'm telling you, we're gonna pop off today. It's gonna be a new era. Oh, damn you, you know why? We just got our third Death's Defiance, buddy. Hold on, before we leave here, peep the codex real quick. Achilles could use one. Entry complete. Cerberus could use one. Adusa could use one. Is anyone like hold on, we only have we only have one nectar? We should really give it to Aphrodite or Ares. So let's save it for now. You don't have anything for me. Oh you do. We might as well buy some bedroom decor. Uh, if only so that we can open up new abilities here. That maybe you will sell me in the future. More bedroom decor. Breath. Um. Orpheus, I forgot you were there. Okay. We're gonna move on. But this third Death's Defiance is absolutely gonna change the game for us. Reward four gems? That's one more prophecy fulfilled. That seems really high. Collecting Nectar gives a random boon plus one level. That also seems extremely good. It's like getting a pomegranate every time you get Nectar. Urns now have ten instead of five. We're, we're on the upswing. We're on the upswing of this one. This is a big improvement for us, I think. So, what do you do? Go in here. Level that up. Need more keys. Keys might be wise to get, but let's just crank three more into this, plus 21% chance for epic, epic abilities. I'll just set that there. Amazing. Achilles or Theseus? I don't know who that is. Anyway, um, I don't know what we're ready to use, so let's use the shield. We got zero Titan's Bloods. So we have Chaos Aspect. After your bull rush, your next special throws multiple shields. The form in which the Shield of Chaos first reveals itself. So it's just normal shield. Well, let's keep it up with the Chaos Aspect so we can do that. Excuse me, where's my multiple shields? There they are. <laughs> and how about Keepsake? Um, let's, let's not take... Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's take... 150 gold right off the bat. You know why I like that? And we do need to go to two on this one? Okay. Let, let's make another... Let's go middle management again. One extra elite foe. Um, the reason I like uh, that keepsake is because it opens us up for Aphrodite to give us our first boon instead of Zeus. Didn't work out that way, but that's totally fine. Your bull rush gains a power shot. Your attack hits twice, but does not knock foes away. Let's go with the power shot on bull rush, because we're already using bull rush a lot anyway. Doesn't seem to do that much damage yet, but it's still like, you know, insanely early. So now every time we get a boon, it gives, or every time we get nectar, I should say, it makes a boon slightly stronger. I hope. Also amplified one of my boons. What it, on what though? What what did you level up? I don't think you leveled up anything because I don't know if I have anything to level up yet. I should be taking a little bit of a closer look for uh, urns as well. But I'm telling you, if I don't win this one, I will be at least modestly disappointed. Maybe more than modestly disappointed because I really feel like we have uh, we've added a lot of positives into our life. I don't think, as of right now, I'm a huge fan of the chaos aspect on the shield, but we didn't really have any other options. Yeah, I'll take the call. And I will definitely go for the chaos uh, benefit here. It's a, it's a decent call, and you know what? Having a call early might save us a death's defiance in a time of need, so why not? Let's go for the extra chance of rare boons. Because although I, you know, the other ones, particularly I think there was special does, like, more damage. I think that's pretty great. But it's early enough that if we're ever going to take a, a rarity boosting effect, kind of want to grab it, like, as close to the start as possible, right? 
So I'm not using my cast too much, um, as is, but definitely might even use it less than usual because we can't pick it up for so long. Extra maximum HP, thank you. And more extra maximum HP, don't mind if I do. Haven't had too much choice in the matter so far. I'm also realizing, you're gonna laugh, and I mean that's sincerely and I can say that with confidence because you're not laughing at a joke that I'm making you're laughing instead at a an idiotic uh, lack of observational skill which is everybody's favorite form of humor of course I didn't realize that different weapons do different amounts of base damage Ares and then give him uh, the nectar for sure I'm, I'm being just 100% sincere, to be honest. I thought every weapon was more or less created equal in, like, the base damage department. Obviously, I mean, you probably don't need me to tell you that's not the case based on the way that we're constructing the bit here. But I believe, like, the sword... Good trap setup. I believe, like, the sword does the most... And the, the spear does not do as much as I thought it did. Doesn't mean it's bad. But perhaps not as good as I thought in the moment. Great stuff! Did you see that? We're actually using the traps to our benefit here. That's a first. I can't believe we haven't given Ares any nectar. I guess it's because he's a strong, independent god who don't need no nectar. Let's see what he's got for us now, though. Special inflicts doom, plus multiple shields. Seems pretty slick. Um, max HP or money. Let's try something a little different. I'm gonna... I, I think my... Disrespect for max HP has led me to, uh... Folly. I think I definitely could give it a little bit more respect. Let's put it that way. And it's all part of the, you know, the balancing act. We're trying to figure out how we want to proceed in this game. I've made some mistakes. We're working on it. Excuse me, thank you for the gold. A curse of chaos has expired. Let's go. Curse of chaos has expired, which means once yeah, I'll pay for that. Um, Curse of Chaos has expired, which means... Rarity... Uh, boon Rarity is increased. Okay. Or at least the likelihood of Boon Rarity is increased. Which is something that will get upgraded every time we pick up Nectar. Or has a chance to get upgraded every time we pick up Nectar, at least. Yo, be careful! I would actually love, like... Uh, an Athena option right now and uh getting like starting our fights with some god gauge because we're not really there yet going light on the gems just because the influence also gives us the chance to uh please let me out <laughs> the influence gives us uh, max hp is what i mean to say but i really appreciate that you know as the game gets harder you also get more rewards i really like that the game ties the, uh, like, consumables that you get to actual, like, meaningful <laughs> stats. Like, you know, gems after a while, you're like, I don't need this anymore. It's like a donation machine in Isaac, right? It's kind of a smart design choice to have it be like, okay, so eventually you're not gonna need those gems. Um, but that's okay, because you'll be getting, like, gold out of them as well or something. Thank you. Pomegranate. We don't have much choice in the matter, so we'll just take that. Can't believe we're not done with the floor yet. Another Chaos Gate. Okay. I feel like we learned a valuable lesson on the last run, which is be very careful with the Chaos Gates that come just before bosses. But at the same time, here's a valuable lesson for you. Uh, get busy living or get busy dying. You know what that's from? That's right, the Shawshank Redemption. Is it a true story? No, I don't think so, but Delicious. words to live by, I think. Make Doom slightly better. Uh, well, it's an easy choice. I don't really care about gems. <laughs> so we will do the Chaos Gate. I could live without my cast. 
I could live without my cast. In the name of Hades. You cannot earn money, your cast does more damage. Yeah, I like that the most. Our special doing more damage also is pretty slick. This time we will go to our shop, because I think buying some boons before the boss will be nice. And my boss sense was starting to tingle a little bit. A Hermes bonus. Out of these, I guess I like a faster special, because we can kind of spam our special as is. And let's make our call a little bit better. I don't think buying that would give us max HP, unfortunately, so I, I think we did a good thing. Not quite. So. I think we made a good decision there. Electo. I forgot, what's your thing again? The saws. Oh, you have the rage meter, but I don't really understand what it does yet. Try to land this power shot, maybe. Also, keep the doom up. There, we actually landed the power shot for once. I've been pretty bad about that, apparently. Careful. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Dude, how long does it take to charge the freaking Poseidon benefit, man? Also, the Poseidon benefit, a great espionage thriller. Just kidding, I just made it up. I better stop her, okay? You, you tried, I suppose. I think it's going well. I also think it's going to be a long, long time before Touchdown brings me back again to find. I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no. I'm a rocket man. That went pretty well. I got no complaints about that. So far, I like this run a great deal. We could use... Hey, what are you doing? Just running over top of the spikes there, dude. Uh, and we did it with two, uh, with two heat on that one. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. Now, let's get rid of this, because we already got our gold. Next boon will be from Ares. Let's get that bad boy leveled up. See, I'm basically just an idiot. Yes, I just took an incentive to get another Chaos Gate. But... What's our problem with the Chaos Gate now? I can't remember. Can't earn gold. So what? Big freaking whoop. Uh, yeah, we don't really care about keys that much. Although the keys do give us faded authority now, I think. It's not amazing, but it's something. Alright, we're getting real spiced here. Every time you cast, take damage. For your next four encounters, you can't earn gold. Um... Let's do this. Chamber rewards are hidden, but your special gets more damage. That's not really a huge... I mean, it's a negative in the meta sense. But it doesn't actually impinge on our ability to, uh, to battle. Which seems sensible, because we're in a situation where... You know, we don't have... Uh, well, we have two chaos negatives right now. So I'd prefer to keep... Things as simple as possible. Instead of making it as spicy as possible. Because it's already spiced. It's not because I've got an aversion to the spice. It's because we're already at, at spice level... Uh, not maximum, but we're at like at least a couple of chili peppers on the menu. It was keys. So that gives us a faded authority. Um... Let, let's use it. Let's, oh, unalterable. Okay. They, they saw right through me, dude. They saw right through me. Oh. Um, it's a shop. That's actually pretty bad. But I guess we can buy some HP. No need to thank me, mate. Um, kind of kind of stinky because we don't have enough money to get something useful out of it. This is a mini boss already. No fair, you moved. I don't really have a game plan for these guys. I don't think we have, like, a specific 
like a hard counter or a hard benefit. <laughs> I think uh, in general, careful. In general, uh, the more doom, or the more consistently we can land our one stack of doom, the better off we're gonna be. Let me out, please. Apart from that, it's just kinda, you know, just one of those times where you grin and bear it, I suppose. We're close. I doomed him. Let's go. Yo, an Ares benefit. Okay, I should have known it as a boon, though, because it is a boss. Your doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. We're going to take it because we haven't had it, but Blade Rift Dash also seemed pretty tempting there. Can't go down the Infernal Gate. We, the day we do a 10 heat run is probably the day we should stop playing Hades because we got too gosh darn good at it. So 10 bonus damage to Doom, basically every time it's applied. Every time it's applied to the same enemy, I'm assuming, or it, it is it within the context of a single room. Because if that's the case, on these like long rooms, Doom is gonna get like unbelievably great. It's probably to the same enemy. I think we'd love a Daedalus Hammer to get a shield that bounces more times. Is that, a, is that a mutation that exists? If it does, it should be on the Daedalus. Gold? Hey, we can actually get the gold. <laughs> Just in time. Um, well, let me read this. Applied multiple times. Maybe... I mean, if I'm reading that right, it, it doesn't say multiple times on the same enemy. So maybe our Doom does get stronger over, over time. Are we free? Free from all chaos negatives? We are. Okay. Ah, so our cast can do damage now. Let's let's take a Poseidon benefit. I would honestly love something better than this. Um, I guess I'll take the knockaway cast. I really do like knockaway. We didn't have any other knockaway effects except for our uh, our call. So, like, honestly, not that interested in, in getting something that only benefits our call. Don't get a whole lot of use out of that. Yet, anyway. This looks a lot worse than it is. I don't think we've quite put together, like, a super easy, you know, game-winning run. But it is still very early. I, I don't know. Maybe we have. The damage is pretty nuts. It would help if you could stop eating your cast into nothingness. Plus you have the shield. The way I look at the shield is like... For the most part, I think it, it is one of the better weapons in the game for sure. Yikes. Please get out of the area of effect. But also, I, I really look at it through the lens of like the Theseus and Minotaur fight. Where I'm like, I think it makes that fight into... Child's play. 12% damage bonus to everything is pretty okay. Definitely do not care about a shop right now. I think we do want that. I know we're spending our gold, but that's okay. So we, we still need a basic attack and we still need a dash. And we're about to fight the boss. Seems a little early, but let's see. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. I know that we need the other one for Faded Prophecy, but uh, to get an epic or... A, it was epic or rare? I think it was epic. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> to get an epic benefit on our basic attack, I think is exactly what we're looking for right now. It was an epic. Just getting the HP first. We're just taking it a little slow. So we should be stacking up Doom just non-stop. The more, the merrier. The other great thing about Doom being on our shield 
is that like it means that there's no risk whatsoever for us like we can just stand outside the fire worry about very little I mean are you okay he's back he's back I think this is pretty much sorted. I brought this up uh, on stream the other day. I love Hades. If you haven't seen my roguelite tier list, I gave Hades a, a lot of respect. If there's one problem I have with the current game, it is that I feel like the game is a little... Once you hit a certain level of mastery... You die at the same spot on, like, every run if you're gonna die. Like, we haven't even died on Theseus and the Minotaur in a long time. Now, I understand that's what the heat gauge is for, is to, like, make it interesting for yourself. But I'm just saying, we're in this weird, like, awkward area right now. Where, for me, and I'm gonna use my greater call uh, when he summons five of those uh, fools. For me, I don't want to crank up the heat gauge because I'm losing. However, I'm winning the whole run prior to Hades. So I really, I mean, I need to get better, but at the same time, I'm dying at like the same moment on just about every run. Which is not really frustrating, it's just kind of, it can be a little samey from time to time. So what I'm hoping to do is maybe get better at the Hades fight so that I can actually crank up the heat and then die more often to even easier enemies. <laughs> That's my game plan. How about you? Dude, the Doom is so good. Alright. You are super done. And we barely lost any HP here. I bet the Zeus call will kill you. We were so close. All right, very, very, very easy fight. Let's hydrate a little. Don't come back. Thank you for the diamonds. And uh, I don't really feel uh, a lot of fear about Elysium. Although, I would really like a new cast. Can we get like a... How are you doing? Oh, you haven't even leveled up. Okay, so we'll stick with Bloodfilled Vile for now. Let's think about this. Pur oh, that's a purge. Sorry, I'm a fool. I got really excited there. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen this before. Let's do it, dude. I am willing to spawn a Chaos Gates. I feel like the, the damage bonuses you can get from that are just stunning. So I'm, I'm willing to let it ride. I want to keep scaling floor to floor, obviously. And there's one right there. We are losing the ability to get uh, an Athena benefit as a result, but that's okay because we still have a Faded Authority that we should actually use because we've never used one before, and I feel like a like a darn fool. In the name of Hades. Once more in the name of Hades. Yo, this is huge. Chamber rewards are hidden again, but attack does way more damage. I know you might be thinking you'd like your special to deal more damage. And also, this does screw over our plan to use Faded Authority, but... I am very for this turn of events. Bad start. Okay, so right here... We should start to see... Some benefits... Of the knockback. That, that hurt a great, that hurt a great deal more than it should have ever had the chance to hurt. Good shields. This is one of those times where I'm just like... I always look down on the Hades, not Hades, I always look back on the Hermes uh, boons. And now I'm realizing... Oh, that's an alt tab. And now I'm realizing that I was a fool to have done so. Because the Hermes benefits that give you extra dash. I mean, I would be... 
I'd be thrilled to have him now. Let me put it that way. We will fight for some extra gold. We have been a little gold poor over the run, which is ironic considering, you know, the keepsake we started with. Help. <laughs> it's all right. Just get some doom out there. Doom on a bouncing shield seems to be doing great work. That was pretty easy. 90 gold, very acceptable. There we are. And we don't know where we're going, so I always take left because I'm left-handed. It gives you some sense of guidance in this mixed up world. Doom, please. So I think, to be honest, I've been playing this shield run the way that I play a sword run, which is unwise. I think instead, just lean back a little bit here for a bit. Recognize there's a lot to be said about just standing back. They attack so quickly, dude. There's a lot to be said about just standing back, pressing the Y button, dashing, pressing the Y button, dashing, pressing the Y button. Might be a little bit steeped in cowardice, or a lot steeped in cowardice, but... If a coward lives, then let me be a coward here. Just this once. Easy. Pomegranate. Fair enough. Better doom, better cast. I think we definitely want a better cast right now. No choice in the matter on this one. Our cast is still pretty subpar, and this is not going to help too much, to be honest. We are keeping the butterfly at bay. <laughs> Just keep moving. I mean, they're not generating very many butterflies right now. Mostly because the ones they do generate are getting destroyed real quick. Very nice. I forgot there was going to be another one. That's... I don't want to say fair, but... It is appropriate given... The, the benefits and, and drawbacks that I've accepted on this one. Yo, we've handled this so well. I, I am stunned because the last few rooms were kind of difficult at how well this room has gone. Now, it's not done yet. And it wouldn't be... A huge surprise to see a Death's Defiance still be used here. We only have to get hit twice, probably. Now I would probably be surprised. The shield guys are still pretty annoying. See? I mean, that one is undeniably on me, but... Okay, good stuff. Just send them, dude. That'll work. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. And an Artemis bounty. Okay. I think this is definitely a Seeking Arrow situation. It was the best available, so... I always take right because I'm right-handed. Yeah, you got me. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I am left-handed. So... We're hoping... Spooky. I think that what I was going to say is we're hoping this works with our existing build. What I'm realizing is I think it doesn't just work with our existing build. I think it makes our existing build a lot stronger. We have a shield, which might feel like a melee weapon. Yikes, that was close. But I feel like we are at our best right now when we treat it as if we have like a frisbee instead. You know what I mean? Kind of a wasted call. That went pretty well, though. Yo, please tell me it's over. It's over! <laughs> we're still not done with that chaos penalty, but... Keep in mind, we're getting a lot out of the chaos penalty, too. My chaos switched to a new oh! <laughs> Came out of nowhere! Oh, my God. 
Okay, that's all right. Not only do we have one spare Death's Defiance, we have enough gold to get more Death's Defiances. Moreover, we could always take the tooth on the... the Tunnels of Sticks. The Buttress of Windsor. So I'm, I'm actually not entirely unconcerned, but largely unconcerned. Not entirely. HP is still a little low on top of everything else. Something yet lives? Yeah, in fact, barely been touched at all. Well, that's getting the job done. Okay. Now we're free, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Daedalus Hammer is really nice. I think we gotta try, even though I do want a Hermes benefit too. I want both of them. More flame wheels. Please just get killed before you can make it over to me. Thanks. It's getting spiced. But I think it's only because we have less dodges and, and maybe even a little bit less move speed than I'd like to admit. Why go for the Daedalus Hammer then? Because somebody posted a guide on the subreddit that said the Daedalus Hammer is the best option. And then I said, Chad, is that true? And a lot of chat went, dude, the Daedalus Hammer is extremely good. I would always take it. So I'd take it in every situation because I default to the wisdom of those who came before me. Instead of thinking for myself with an incomplete data set, okay? It's, that's the spirit of the scientific method. It's, it's all bull rush. Let's let's do more damage to armor. That seems like universally useful. Uh, and I, I think we can still use some gold, honestly. Oh, we could have altered, brother. Maybe we could alter the boss. And instead just get a a free boon. Easy fight. Not an easy fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got stuck on the terrain. Anytime they rush you, you hit them with the invincibility. Very wise move. Careful. We're trying to watch out for chariots. Chariots are the, the real evil right now. Everything else we can handle with the press of the Y button. Very nice. Watch out for that. Thank you for the gold. And shop or HP. 569 gold tells me this is a shop. This is a shop situation. Yas. I will take dash attack does more damage, even if I don't really think I use that. <laughs> Alright, this could be tough. The most important thing for me right now is... And this is true pretty much universally. For the love of God... Don't use another Death's Defiance. You can't say all that you've achieved was merely handed you when you have an aristocratic accent. I'm sorry to tell you. It's it it comes across as tone deaf. Tone deaf. Can I tell you as well? I have, like, 100% confidence we are going to use a Death's Defiance. So just try to stay... ...relaxed. Basically, if we get hit, like, once, it's gonna create it. Or twice now, clearly, but... So prepare yourself for that fact. If somehow we end up not using one even better okay it would be a dream come true but it's not like run no oh, i shouldn't have gotten so aggressive dude it's all right as long as we don't panic that one hurt because I, I really thought we were at the full god gauge there as 
long as we don't panic, we're definitely going to make it through this. Some pretty horrible damage, though. Careful. Careful. You should send them. Please send them. Thank you. Might even like to send this guy a little. Not as much as I would like, but that's okay. All right, now the easy part. So I'm here to tell you, I think this strat's gonna keep working. What are you doing there? No big deal. As long as you dodge the gods, you're fine. Yo, he's having a bad day. Yo, Theseus and the Minotaur? Dangerous. Theseus or the Minotaur? Not really that bad. We need Death's Defiance back in a big way, though. Finally. Not really in a great spot. <laughs> this is not the spot I uh, I envisioned for myself. Let's put it that way. One day I gotta use this freaking fader to authority, dude. I do want that. We can still... Yoink. Um... We can still purchase a Death's Defiance upgrade from us. You didn't take the tooth! Every freaking time you're supposed to take. Well, I guess I'm going to have to win anyway. Hopefully. All right, let's see what you got for sale. Dionysus or uh, Athena would be great. That's on offer here. No such luck. Um, we will buy the Ares benefit. Let's make Doom do more damage. It's percentage-based, which I think is very nice for us. Let's make it even better. Athena or Dionysus, please. You, you hate to see it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Next time we go through, we'll alter a benefit and try to make it uh, Athena or Dionysus. I think it's, it's a sensible approach. One Death's Defiance against Hades. Look, the thing is, it might prove to be enough. I feel like it probably won't be. Yo, the wall slam, though. Let me out, please, before I get poisoned. I feel like it probably won't be, but... The wall slam, though. We'll see. That's that's all I can promise you is that we'll see. Okay, that's fine. Poison. That's all right. It happens. The doom damage is extremely no joke. Nor is the damage when the rat bites you, which uh, is really my own fault in a huge way. Don't poison me. You got to send him into the shadow realm, dude. This guy's got to go ASAP. He's got to get hard focused. Is that a real expression in esports? Hard focused? Dude, I'm getting hard focused over here. It's probably a real expression, is my guess. I mean, did I just invent it? Maybe. My brain thinks that I invented it. That doesn't mean I did invent it, but... I mean, it hurts to get poisoned in this game at any time. It really hurts to get poisoned when you have a shield, because it's like, man, what the heck did I do wrong? 
I dodged into the trap. My mistake. That was pretty fast, at least. Um, cast fires a second uh, projectile. I, uh, I'll take that. Again, I think in these tunnels, that's very advantageous. So let's go to something that's not super useful here, like maybe max HP, gold. Let's go pomegranate, actually. Let's alter it. It became max HP. Honestly, straight up, I think we'd like more Poseidon benefits. I might be tunnel visioning because the knockback is like so good on the tunnels. I just like knockback in general. Pay very, very close attention. Because a single... Well, to be honest, we don't have the cash to afford a Death's Defiance from a shop right now, but... It's no use. If we find one, it would still be pretty sick. We could be like, man, if only I had some more gold. And hey, we got ten more right there. A little closer, a little closer. Not... The room we're looking for. Now, the absolute worst case scenario here is obvious. If you lose a Death's Defiance at this present moment, that's a very negative situation that I am loath to, to even consider, to even think about. We're about one poison dart away from staring that fate in the face. Won't be necessary, thank you. Foes pushed by your knockaway effects are also struck by lightning. Okay, sure. I like a duo. I like to take the duos in this game. We are at 197. Let's go gold, dude. Maybe it's in here. So the odds of it happening are very bad. Let's just get that out of the way. But how sick would it be? Thank you for the gold. If we were able to win with zero deaths defiances on our own merits, like it's some kind of roguelite or something. No deaths defiance available. So this is the only life we got, brother. Get ready. Now that felt good. Now when I said this is the only life we got, what I meant is this and our death's defiance <laughs> are the only lives we got. Now uh, you are not taking as much damage as I personally thought you would. That's for darn sure. Yo, yo, get to the pool. Good, yeah, yeah. I mean, you might as well just keep letting that ride. Seems to be getting the job done. How do you still have so much HP? There's more? Please, I'd really like my cast back. 200 gold coming our way. Must be, I was just gonna say, we must be stacked here. We're at uh, 500 gold. Um, definitely. You know what? This is a good time to get the Hermes benefit, I think. Your casts automatically return to you. Why not? Who? You don't get a legendary ability all that often. You know what? <laughs> Give me some maximum HP. Maybe we can... Maybe we can make it work. This one's gonna sting me. Because the run feels very great. If we're not able to put up... I, at this point, I can't say we're gonna win. But if we're not able to put up a good fight against Hades, I would be devastated. 
I will level with you and say that most of our best abilities do seem to be more tailored towards boss fight or uh, regular rooms than boss fights, but still. Like, is going real well right here. Please. I don't know. Maybe I'd like to do all five rooms. See, all you have to do is say that and then they'll let you go. <laughs> I, I think at this point, why not get one more boon? I don't know what it's going to give us, but... I think we might as well at least try. Maybe I should check the other passageways before. Why not, right? See what you get. I mean, really, I'm stoked to be fighting many weak enemies. Basically, we have like unlimited casts with Poseidon benefit attached, which are like, you know, insanely great right now. There is a shop. If there is a troll engine in this game, prepare yourself cuz it's going to have a death's defiance that we can't afford. Did not work. Which is actually awesome. Um, so we did take the HP benefit, which, to be honest, depending on how much damage we take, might have made this worthwhile. I mean, the, the carnage we're causing in here with our, with our cast is just disgusting. It's a beautiful thing. You lived?! So 250 gold at least allows us to get a pomegranate. At this point, you know, we don't have any other use for our uh, money. Might as well watch out for that one. We are going to we're I was just going to say we're going to get poisoned. We did not get poisoned. Very lucky for me, I think. Good fight. <laughs> can switch to a different boon. It is heroic. You know, I think we actually do one. Eh. No, Poseidon's aid is epic quality already. Let's just get a damage bonus after slaying foes. Which it, look, both that and the other one were not good for us for for fighting Hades himself. Oh my God, we're at 247. It's okay. You know. That we're really realistically looking at like probably like a two percent damage bonus or something like that from a pomegranate. So that's pretty unlikely to make the difference here. All right, let's button up. We know all of Hades' attacks. I'm not saying we should never get hit, but we should get hit less than we're getting hit. I think that's obvious. And Doom is of your utmost importance here. Stack up the Doom. Try not to get hit by the burning blood, but that's okay. Life goes on. You guys dying to one Doom? Can't believe we didn't get hit there. Not quite one Doom. I really thought that would destroy his cast in midair. So, okay, this isn't that bad right now. Alright, new strat time, boys. An awful lot of pressing the Y button. And not getting into too much danger. That hurts. Starting to think the move speed might have been more beneficial. Okay, I'm hoping that got some kills, or at least got close. Get our cast back ASAP, please. Oh, that hurts. Okay, we're out of death's defiances. Man, that doing 40 damage to us so consistently. That's rough. Okay, you got a full god gauge. Let it ride. Okay, boomer. I don't know if we got a single knockback against the wall there. Let me out. I'm learning a lot on these past few runs. I've I've learned more than you would expect. The number one thing I've learned is that, dude, those Hermes bonuses, 
can actually make or break your run. And on this one, we're getting a little broken, which is unfortunate, because I really think... You know, I mean, we had a lot of stuff working out to our advantage here. Whoa. He turned on a dime there. Just prepare yourself. You know how it is. Any, any given moment. This one's probably going under. Damage output seems pretty good. We at least made it to phase two. So you're saying there's a chance. No, I'm not. <laughs> Genuinely not saying there's a chance. It's too slow to kill him. It's all right. We learned a lot. We'll be back with more respect on Hermes' name. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for my ineptitude, and I'll see you next time. See ya. See ya.